Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Josie and in this video I am going to be showing you all of my empties that are in this bin that I have collected over the last few months. So if you are interested in hearing what I have to say about all of these empty products then please just keep watching. So I'm going to start off with all of the dry shampoos that I have. I go through these like absolutely crazy. There's way more that I have thrown away that I've gone through in the past few months that I just didn't find it necessary to put that many in an empties video, you know? So I have the blush scent of the Batiste, another blush scent, this one is the one I like the best, or actually, I would say I like this one, the shine one the best, because it makes my hair actually shiny and it doesn't just like pretend that it's going to make your hair shiny. I don't know. It's, it's pretty good. The last two Batistes I have are this Divine Dark one, which I really don't like this one much at all. It, it does still leave your hair kind of powdery if you have dark hair, like not white, but kind of powdery, white-ish looking still. It kind of it's weird, and then it also doesn't soak up the grease as well either in that aspect. Like, it just doesn't soak up grease as well as the other ones do. I can't imagine why that would be, but it doesn't. And then I have the Clean and Light Bare one, which, honestly, this one's pretty good too. I kind of just really, really love all of them. And now I have a pack of these Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. And I actually really, really liked these. They were really wet, which is what I personally like. Some people might think that they're a bit too wet but I actually really like the ones that are more wet because then I don't have to use like more than one and then here I have this Paula's Choice skincare product which I really really love their skincare it is the clear anti redness exfoliating solution it is their BHA I think or AHA no I think it's BHA but it's just a chemical exfoliant that you put on your skin at night and it really, really clears my pores. I freaking love this stuff. I may consider doing a video about it in the future because their stuff is really, really good. I have a bottle of this Aveeno lotion. This is not actually empty, but for my sake, this is going bye-bye. It is so thick and silicone-y that it, like, sits on your skin and it doesn't hydrate whatsoever. I could put a ton of this on and then, like, an hour later like it still hasn't sunk in and done anything it really doesn't hydrate and it's so so thick I just really don't like this blue one I much much prefer the green one I have two concealers here to talk about first I have this Maybelline Superstay Butter Skin Concealer this is fabulous best concealer I've ever ever used I love it so much in the Butter Skin Foundation is also really really good which I actually I might as well show this bottle in this video as well because this is getting there like this only has a couple pumps left and then it's gone so yeah I really love these this combination but both of these products on their own as well they are amazing so creamy so full coverage so comfortable like very very nice products I love them and then this concealer is the NARS radiant creamy concealer ah Mmm, I'm so sorry, but personally I found this to be way too thick. It wasn't as creamy as like that one I just showed you or like the Fit Me concealer. This one was thick as hell. And this little sample cost me so much money. I'll put it on the screen because I can't remember how much it cost, but it was a lot. And this lasted me literally like a week. I couldn't get any more product out of it after a week. And that's ridiculous for this size. Like, I don't know, it was just too kind of dry and it was full coverage don't get me wrong but it was harder to blend out with a beauty blender than concealers I'm used to and it was pretty thick but I mean I didn't hate it if I had a bigger bottle that would last me a lot longer maybe I would be okay with the fact that it's kind of dry and like thick I, I don't even know what I'm talking about okay there's that. And then I have this beauty blender that I am chucking. I just featured this in a video of like the beauty blender becoming bad quality, like worse than it used to be because the beauty blender is so great. But this beauty blender that I bought is actually pretty crappy and I just did a video on that and so I am going to toss this. I have this Dove dry shampoo which I really didn't like this stuff. It was really really powdery very 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 white it provides a huge white cast it's it's not even empty I don't know if you can 
hear that, but it's not empty, but it's really bad. I do not like this. It's so powdery, so friggin' white. And it didn't soak up any freaking oil. It really didn't. It would make it look like it did because it's so powdery. But then, you, no matter how long you let it sit, if you brush it out, it's gone. Like, it, it has done absolutely nothing. I've tried it various different ways, like leaving it in longer or less, brushing it out right away. Like, just trying different techniques with it. And this stuff does not freaking soak up oils at all. It's terrible. Sorry, Dove. And then I have this Clark's Botanicals Eye Cream, Anti-Puff Eye Cream. I really, really love this stuff. This bottle freaking lasted me forever. I mean, it is literally huge. But I really, really love this stuff. It actually did as good of a job as an $85 eye cream that I had. I'm pretty sure this one's $60. But that one, well, I got it in BoxyCharm, both of them, and this one is so freaking good. It brightens my under eyes so good and really, really helps to smooth them out when I haven't got much sleep, which is most of the time. But I, yeah, I really, really thought this was good, but I mean, it is pretty expensive, so. And now, finally, last but not least, I have this Maybelline Master Fix Setting Spray. And I don't really know what to say about this. It says it's a wear-boosting setting spray, locks in makeup, blah, blah, blah. This is very, like, drying on me. It makes my skin really shiny. Like, the surface of my skin will look really shiny in a bad kind of way. But it'll make my skin feel really dry and uncomfortable. I think it probably has... Yeah, it, alcohol is the, like, second ingredient in this. So it has a lot of alcohol. It's pretty drying. And I don't find that it does anything good for me. The spray on it sucks. And when I spray it on my face, no matter like how I do it, far away, closer, whatever, no matter how I do it, it always creates splotches. And I have to quickly grab my beauty blender and blend out the setting spray, which you shouldn't have to do, really. <laughs> and it just kind of makes my makeup break apart throughout the day. It made it look really greasy and just, I really didn't like this. I'm sorry, my reviews for most of these things are terrible, I know, but yeah, I just really did not like this setting spray. Okay, that is the bottom of my bin. My empties are gone. That is all I wanted to share with you. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and hopefully I will see you in my next video, or at least one of my videos. Bye!